maybe, <laughs> or maybe Jared's just gonna play Chrome into Jai's Warrior. I maybe, think that'd be really fun. Maybe he is. All right, welcome back. Roadside Rumble, Pit and Wario, Gerald and Jai. What color? Oh, the blue one. I need. I, I swear he picks a different one every time. Yeah, annoying. <laughs> So we got Warrior versus Pit. I don't think I've ever seen this matchup before. No. <laughs> um, cool. Nobody plays Warrior, and like we do have a Pit player or a couple yeah. of Pit players, um, but now um, we now we have Gerald's Pit. Um, he did play this last week, um, and got top four, didn't you? Hmm? You got top four. Yeah, I think from memory, Gerald won last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was either him or Jai that won last week, I think. I'll check, because I can do that. Um, I, think, I think it's interesting, because Drive's usually the one playing the series characters, but now Drive's also bringing out a, like a brand new character at the same mm. time. And as much as like, I think, um, you know, Gerald's not not playing just for fun, like not not just just for fun, like he's playing something that he, think he thinks he can win with, uh, I remember him saying he wanted to play it because he saw the Buzz playing it and it looked cool. Yeah, the which the Buzz is playing a lot of it online. Hmm. Because yeah. I know, I know he's a big Kid Icarus fan because like he's, he was like the best Kid Icarus uprising player in the world or something like that. Oh really? Which is like a title not many people will ever attain to. <laughs> no. But um, Gerald taking it with the dash attack there at 159. Um, interesting. I don't actually think I've ever seen Pit dash attack no, kill before. It was definitely really high percent for Jai there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Gerald did win last week, but I think he busted out some different characters in that from memory as well. It wasn't just the Pit that won in that. I think the Game & Watch definitely made an appearance. Yeah. Um, as it has to, because I won the week before as well. Yeah. Um, so, you played a bit of Pit too during Ultimate yeah, as I, well. Yeah, I really like Dark Pit. Mm. Um, I, I, I still played him a bit after the boss, but like, he's behind a few characters for me. Yeah. But I think my pick could do work. But that's probably just my ego. Oh, no. Jai not making it back to the stage yeah. there, really unfortunate. Not the kind of SD you want. No. At this percent. Um, yeah, what, what is it about Dark Pit over Pit specifically that... I like, um, I like the like. arrows more. I think like most people go to pit for like the fun arrows that you can like spin around and stuff. Mm. But Dark Pit's like actually works as like a combo move. You can combo out of like like an arrow out of down air or something like that and then combo into a near or a forward air. Okay. I think it's a really interesting like mix up yeah. compared to like what you see with pit. And also just the side B is better as well. So No, that's fair. I like that. Um think Pit definitely has some really interesting combos. I love that you can do like down throw down air yeah. and get the side hit, and that's a combo um, to keep going. Having all those extra jumps too uh, really helps out. Yeah, he's a really unique character, but while also being a pretty vanilla character at the same time. Mm. Because if you wanted to bring a new player into the game, you'd probably give them someone like Pit to start off with. Yeah. Just because he's pretty straightforward in what he does. The only really unique mechanic is the uh, multiple jumps, but outside of that, he's a pretty... Easy. And the bendy arrows. Yeah, the bendy arrows. Um, I think the bendy arrows, to the best of my knowledge, and not something anybody else really has. Yeah. Um, but there we go, game one's Gerald, gets it with the F-Tilt. Played really well that game. Mm. I, re I don't reckon Jai plays Warrior after this, I reckon that was just a... Yeah, just a... Uh, quick experiment, maybe? Yeah, um, try and get a little bit of... Um, battle experience for that warrior too like yeah. you know we always say the best practice for a character is to just play it in tournament exactly um, you, you know. can do as much time in the lab you want but no, nothing's going to compare to a tournament match against a really good player exactly so Jai oh okay, okay. Go I think this is a bad decision <laughs> 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 I, I just think I think Pit would just win this matchup outright I think he's got bigger hitboxes to contest Dr. Mario in neutral, mm -hmm. and also having those arrows and Dr. Mario being a slow character, I think he can get caught by like two or three of them before he even gets away. Yeah. Oh, nice little string yeah. there from Gerald. I really the like the the, uh, the up tilt there. Yeah, he's not up tilt to extend it. Um, I think too, like having the ability to um, snipe people's recoveries with the arrows as well is really going to hurt uh, Dr. Mario. Yeah. His recovery a lot better than um, it has been in previous games, but 
Yeah, uh, still, still, still not saying much. Yeah, yeah. really. Very slow. <gasps> Gerald yeah. air dodges and still makes it back. That yeah, pit up B. His recovery is insane. Mm. Well, I guess the cure on that lasting down air. Yeah. B even. Waits it out too. Um, great work from Gerald. Eats a forward smash yeah. though after a whiff grab and uh, stage is back to neutral. I feel like what Jai, when he's playing Dr. Mario, one of his main problems is he's go he goes for that down B so close to the stage that one dash back away from it and you get a free punish on it. Mm -hmm. And we saw that with the forward air that took the stop. But he still goes for it a lot of the time. And it's probably something as he, if he wants to play more Dr. Mario, that he needs to work on it. Yeah, agreed. Um, oh, nice tech there. Um, saves his stock potentially because uh, he's not on that much percent but Dr. Mario does have um, yeah. a pretty mediocre recovery outside of that down B. Dr. Mario's so slow. Mm. I imagine too like seeing as you play Mario too yeah. like seeing this um, you'll definitely see like all of the places where he doesn't have an over um, his regular red counterpart. Uh, that's a, that's one of the main reasons why Doc isn't very good. It's like a lot of the options that Mario has, Doc doesn't have just because of his lack of speed and his air speed. Mm. And while Doc is a different character, it's still in a similar sort of playstyle as well. Yeah. He's he's kind of a weird um, mishmash between like Mario and Luigi. Yeah. With that down B as well. Um, but just, oh, I mean, like, older games, Luigi's not necessarily this one who's a, a grab and sure you can bot. Um, <laughs> and then when he's in disadvantage, do down B. It's yeah. invincible. Exactly. He's got a DP. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, still actually pretty close. Not what I think we expected of this. Yeah. Um, I suppose the other thing to note too is that Jai has a lot of experience on this Dr. Mario. Yeah. Um, has played it most of Ultimate's lifespan, and Gerald's pit is relatively new. Whoa, catches that dash attack. Great work. And Jai pulls that one back. He was not looking in a good position yeah, that there, was, but. That went from zero to hero in like mm. two seconds. Plays very patiently. Um, he just but, knew that Gerald wanted to have that burst option with the dash attack to just get Jai off him in the corner. Yeah. Which I think. In a lot of, it, like, outside of, like, Tasmania and Australia in general, you usually don't see those burst options out the corner just because that aggressive play is so dangerous. Yeah. But here, we, we all see the burst option every time because it's what we do week in, week out. Mm. Now, picking songs, which is very important now. Yeah. Really um, important part of... Um, of the stage selection process. Are they going back to small battlefield? Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I don't sure. see why they wouldn't I don't see why they would switch off. I don't think the stage really benefits either of these either of these characters too much. I think they both benefit in a way. Yeah. Changing the Dr. Mario next game just because, you know, it has to mess us up hmm. <laughs> over here at the stream team. <laughs> so, we're not changing it. Yeah. You can, you can deal, Joe. <laughs> um, all right. So, 41%, 50% here on Jai's Dr. Mario. Gerald seems to have adapted a little bit more from the last game. Um, he's still playing aggressive, but he's, he's throwing out more careful aerials. Yeah. I think. Throwing out those nares, throwing out those four nares. Which, against a character like Dr. Mario, he suffers from having no range. Mm. He has, like, more range than people think. And so those moves are really just going to be hard for Dr. Mario to deal with. Yeah, and he has, he has good disjoints with those forward and back airs, too. Um, and neutral air is just... It's um, pretty much a lesser man's Palutena in air. Yeah. Like, it doesn't do as much for you, but it's got a comparable hitbox. Um, I actually don't think it's the hitbox is as big... Um, I think they're less inconsistent. What the problem yeah. Been, so. um, but still, like comparable, has one of those neutral layers like um, like Palutena, like Ivysaur, that you can just use for so many different things. Exactly. Great up smash too. I, he did that drag down with the up air. I I think drag down up air sounds really creative. Yeah, just um, call out too with um, <laughs> throwing out the forward air. Yeah, 
the funny forward aerial. Um, Mario's takes a little bit more, a uh, bit more skill to combo <laughs> yeah. into it and get the kill. Doctor Mario, Doctor Mario just out. punches you. <laughs> you know how hard of a time I have hitting them. <laughs> Dry exactly. over here playing his busted character. He's like, you, you won't block this. <laughs> And it's pretty good on shield too, because there's a lot of push block on shield, so mm. it means Dr. Mario can drift back and most of the time kind of get away with it. Yeah. Um, nice work approaching with the pills now too. Like, um, there's something we used to see a lot from Luma's Dr. Mario um, too, was approaching with the pills. Um, obviously, you know, being a Mario player from Smash 4, yeah, he had a um, good insight on how to play the general archetype. Um, I think it's really funny saying the saying that Luma's, we've seen Dr. Luma's Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. Yeah, <laughs> not but many people have had that privilege. <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it a privilege or not. Um, not not, not saying that it fighting. was bad, but just like if you're going to see Luma play and he's playing Dr. Mario. <laughs> I got the stock there with that up smash. It. Yeah, big head. Mm. Really good work. Trying to rack up a bit of damage now. Has a bit of rage. Oh, Getting those up airs. Airs. Goes trying to get that down here too. Um, I think with Jai having play, like being playing a fair bit of Captain Falcon too in recent weeks. Oh, nice really edge nice guard. Um, having that down air must feel really familiar to him yeah. as well. Because it's a really, really good down air. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And oh, there we go. We, we see it again. Just as we say it, Jai uses it to yeah. take that game through. I think, I think we're just talking. I think we're coaching him. He's, uh, he's obviously close to the commentators. Yeah. He, he's listening to us through the door. Because <laughs> he usually has his headphones in it. And look at mm. him now. No headphones. I think, we, I think we've got a crime on our hands. I think we need to investigate this. Yeah. Match I thought you were about to, I thought you said we've got a crumb on our hands. And I was like, they haven't even got to stage <laughs> select, like to character select yet. But we could have a crumb on our hands. We could. I don't think we will. I think we'll see Game & Watch. Yeah, I think so too. Um, Gerald, definitely not as practiced on the crumb as he once was. Yeah. Um, might take a few weeks to whip that one back into shape. But I still think when you've made the character so long, it's still like picking up a bicycle. Yeah, You know exactly. how to ride it every time. Ooh, Dark right. Pit this time. All right. Taking your advice and going for the Dark Pit. So um, skinny picks. Which, which one is he going to go? I like all the Dark Pit skins. I think he has the best skins in the game. Yeah. Right. I don't know, I, I think the Kid Icarus characters overall have really good skins. Yeah, I like all the Pallio skins, I like all the Pit and Dark Pit skins. Mm. Um, I don't know, I like, I like that a lot of characters have skins based off other things from the game and like little tidbits of information. Like, yeah. I love that Lucina's skins. Oh, oh no, Jai gets no. SDs there, really unfortunate. Yeah. We did see him bring back his first game with Dr. Mario after an SD though. Yeah. So definitely not over. Um, also, I suppose worth to note they're on regular battlefield now too. Um, so really good stage for Mario or Doc Mario here. High but, ceilings too. So mm. Um, easier to get those, uh, harder to get those kills for a character like Dark Pit that does struggle with killing sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I, I love a lot of the concepts behind Lucina's skins, but I hate a lot of her skins. Oh, yeah. Some of, <laughs> Some of them terrible. are so ugly, but um, I loved Awakening and I loved a lot of those characters that they yeah. um, stand for too. So it's kind of heartbreaking to see. Catches that back here. He's, he's taken only 10% so far this game. Mm -hmm. I really like those fake out with the arrows as well, just shooting them straight up and then going for a dash attack as a surprise option. Yeah, and um, I think Gerald too, like, nice um, back air coming on the stage there. Used to. Um, oh, Gerald, oh, great, great tech. tech. <laughs> Gerald's used to being able to use those um, arrows as a ledge guard option. Yeah. Um, so Dark Pits one's not curving as much might be throwing him off a little bit but he seems to be making the most of it yeah um and great use of that side b as you mentioned earlier too like great kill move really yeah, powerful it's, it's insane has so much armor to it as well um it sucks that it's stuck on a character like dark pit because then most other characters can be like one of the most effective tools in the game yeah um and you know with the um the buff to the pits as well like we might see more of these characters come out when tournaments come back um for other scenes as well yeah exactly 
Uh, I know Ray's, uh, one of the better players in Australia or in Vic, um, is an avid Dark Pit and Pit main. Yeah, as he's well. been really enjoying the buffs as well. He's mm -hmm. played a lot of stuff. You can do stuff like tough tilt, drag down there loops. It's that's <laughs> it's crazy. Like light Pikachu, basically. <laughs> He's just Angel Pico. Uh, that's nuts. Alright, we can see Gerald dashing around there. He seems really antsy to get this kill too. Yeah. Like, um, he knows that he's got pretty much got this game in the bag, but... Oh. Messes up the trump, so that means Gerald gets to go for the back air instead. Yeah. Um, that was a weak hit though. And there we go, gets the up B out of shield. Um, but this is what Gerald's afraid of, I think. Like, being on the same amount of stocks. Um, you know, he's... He's got a lot of a percentage advantage, yeah. but uh, you know, Doc Mario can rack up a fair bit of damage, and he can kill. Mm. We, he's got some very strong kill moves. Yeah, um, that's the big thing with Doc too. Is like he may not be may not be as quick or anything as Mario, but damn, he like yeah. when he hits you, he hits like a truck. He's the Ganondorf of Mario. Pain's neutral now. Oh, Reza rolling, but don't it sucks. Oh, <laughs> just a random yeah. full hop down here. I think he misinput that one, trying yeah. to go off the stage, jump back up and and down here. Really uh, risky throwing out these back airs here. Yep. And as we said, like Jai has really brought this back. Um, has a lot of percent on now, and nearly uh, caught, like nearly caught Gerald up to him. <gasps> Shield oh, and the side gets it gets it. the punish. Oh. Jai takes that one. Three one, Three one. For Jai over Gerald. That was a really, that was a really good comeback. That was a really well played set. You don't see that often.